So another question I've gotten recently is, is it true that your racket head moves from the left to the right when striking a ball, hitting a first serve? Yes, this is true. It's, it's so counterintuitive. It seems like, I think, I think a big part of the problem with the serve is people perceive it as a ball that you're trying to either strike the back of the ball or you're trying to strike the right side of the ball. Now, those things happen, but the, the beginning part of it is that the racket has to travel up in this left to right direction because your arm is pronating, your hand is pronating. Pronating means that your, that your hand is traveling from an inward to an outward position by means of your forearm and your elbow, not necessarily including your shoulder, okay? So pronation is just the act of your hand moving from an inside position to an outside position by means of your forearm. So if this is true, which it is, and your grip is correct, you're holding your continental grip, then your racket is always gonna be traveling up in a left-right direction towards the ball. Now, with the grip, it's gonna set the edge forward, so you're gonna be able to hit a top spin ball, you're gonna be able to hit a slice ball, and you can flatten out your hand to hit a flat ball, but the racket head, the face, will be traveling up in this left to right direction. So it kind of looks like this towards the ball. You're gonna to have to picture that I have a ball hanging up in the air for me. So I hope that you can see that action. What, what most people try and do is something that looks like this for, let's say, a first serve, because they're thinking a first serve is a flat ball. A first serve doesn't have to be a flat ball. A first serve can be a slice or a kick or a flatter ball. So this is what they, people usually attempt. Notice how my wrist is jammed? My wrist can't go any further, so I'm not getting any action on the ball. I may hit a flat serve, but my racket face is going straight towards the ball as opposed to this powerful action of your elbow and your forearm and your wrist going up towards that ball. It's a fact that you gain your most speed by using between the elbow and the hand. Of your, off of your serve, okay? So there's all these statistics that say, you know, how much speed can I gain from my legs and my rotation and my this and that. You gain your most speed from the elbow to the hand because that's where all of this, this wrist action comes from. So yes, the ball, the racket travels in a left to right direction. Hopefully you can see that. And if it doesn't make sense, just try it. Get your grip in the right place, swing up to a ball that's out in front of you and to the right, and you just see in slow motion what direction that that, that racket head is going. Okay, hope that helps.